First of all, congratulations are in order. You made it to football season. The NFL returns tonight with the Hall of Fame game. Yeah, I know it's only preseason, but it's football and we can bet on it. As much as I agree with that statement, it doesn't mean you have to bet on it. So let's check out the particulars. We've had a switch of favorite in this game. Houston now road favorite of one and a half, and the over under has trickled down a couple points to 31. Now, that change in favorite occurred when it was announced number one overall pick, former Heisman Trophy winner Caleb Williams out of USC, will not play for the Bears. It was kind of expected, but we weren't sure. And what was definitely expected is C.J. Stroud will not go for Houston. But we are going to see some backups with experience that we know. Davis Mills, Case Keenum for Houston. And with the Bears, Bajan, their, their D3 quarterback who got some starts last year even. So um, here's the thing. The market is the market. I understand the desire to bet unders, but actually more games in the last preseason went over than under. Also, each of the last two Hall of Fame games went over. Not that that's predictive. It's just a reminder that at some point the market can adjust. It's not like the odds makers or the betting market think it's a regular season game. No, they're hanging 31 as an over-under. And yes, the offenses are vanilla, but so were the defenses. And there's going to be broken plays, which means short fields, long penalties on defensive pass interference. So at this current number, I have to pass. But there's in-game opportunities, something to keep in mind. Uh, also, for future of NFL preseason betting, one is the key number as opposed to three during the regular season. So if you get plus one and a half, it's hard to turn that down because teams go for two and avoid overtime at the end. That's why one is a key number because coaches will do anything they do or will do anything to avoid over time and you know it's football's back but let's ease into it if you don't really love anything